Hi everyone, I'm Michael Ralph, and today we're going to be putting together a yeast multicellularity lab. You're going to need everything you see right here, most notably yeast and YPD broth and some wax. To get started before the students come in, you're going to need to prepare a stock culture of yeast to be ready for when they're ready to start the lab. To do that, you'll need some basic baker's yeast. You can buy this at any grocery store. And you're going to need to inoculate some YPD broth. You make YPD broth by adding 10 grams of yeast extract, 20 grams of peptone, like a casein hydrolyzed, um, you need short amino acid chains as their nitrogen source, and 20 grams of sugar, like dextrose or glucose. Add all that into one liter of water and mix, and you have YPD broth. Inoculate that, once it's sterile, by either boiling or autoclaving, with a sample of baker's yeast, and then make sure and keep that covered and that needs to incubate for no less than four days at about 27 or 30 degrees Celsius. Once your students are ready to start the lab, they're going to need to have a pipette in which they can run their culture. Make sure they label their pipette with both the hour and their particular group number. And their first step is going to be obtaining some sterile YPT broth. This can also be boiled or autoclaved, and it should stay covered until they're ready. To begin, they're going to need to take their clean pipettes, and they're going to obtain some of their original yeast culture. Make sure we use aseptic technique here. Everything needs to stay covered when we're not using it. Everything, the cleanliness, is critical for this lab to be successful. So squeeze and keep the cover right on top and obtain a small sample of our yeast broth, and that's going to go into our sterile YPD. And the cover goes right back on. You may need to have a group member help you with this one. Get it nice and mixed up. Cover comes back off. Draw up your fresh sample. And this is now waste, so this doesn't need to be covered anymore. But this is not, this is our new culture. So to seal our new culture in the pipette, we're going to take some melted wax, and that needs to get dipped into our melted wax long enough to seal the end. And you'll see the wax forms a nice clean barrier around the tip of the pipette. Once that's sealed, this is now ready. You can make all of your observations of the existing culture. And that will be ready to go into the incubation beakers. Instead of an incubation beaker, just make a very shallow water bath with as large of a magnetic stir rod as you can get. And this, when you set it to low rotation, will just gently agitate your culture as it incubates. Set your hot plate to about 30 degrees Celsius and this will be ready to incubate overnight. From here you'll just continue the selection process of adding a small sample of your original yeast solution to fresh and sterile YPD every day. Mix, redraw, and we'll continue to do this selection process for as many times as we can manage, a couple of weeks and we'll observe any changes in the yeast population. Good luck.